Check this out, man. You might learn something. All right, troops, strong and conditioned, live and direct from the patio of pain. So I thought I would share my current training regime with you guys. I think it's something that some of you may be able to extract some value from, maybe even try it yourself. However, it's been working very well for me because it's allowed me to achieve balance. Yes, it's a combination of weights and burpees and other genital conditioning stuff, as they say. It's very simple, it's a very simple process. However, I like to perform activity on a daily basis. I think that is the superior approach to fitness because we remain in perpetual motion. We are constantly moving and we're always being active. And I think that's something that the human body responds favorably to. That's just my opinion on things. I'm sure some of you guys will disagree on that and think, I need to do rest days. I need to do a rest day and now, you know, I need to recover. But to me, recovering is called sleeping and the rest of the day is spent moving being active because that's what human beings are all about is being active that's what keeps us living longer that's what keeps us more mentally attuned and that is what keeps us more at one with the essence of being human but let's not go down that wishy-washy airy fairy road Okay, that's not what Stronger and Conditioned is all about. So what have I been doing? Well, my training regime has been a focus between a full body workout performed three times a week and on the other three days I perform buppy dominant conditioning drills. Now, let's talk about the gym work. What am I currently doing in the gym? I am currently following a program called The Wizard which has been created by Faz Lifts. And Faz is a gentleman I have got to know probably in the last couple of months through exchanges on Instagram and through my podcast. And he's quite clearly a knowledgeable chap. He's been in the iron game for years. So I felt that consulting Faz was probably going to be a thing that would allow me to get more out of my training. Because Faz is entrenched in the iron game, whereas I've taken a break from the iron game and became more burpy dominant, burpy obsessed, the burpy lifestyle. And I felt that I should put my training into someone else's hands. So Faz directed me to one of his programs, which is called The Wizard, which is a full body hypertrophy style program performed three days a week. And it follows the basis of a heavy, medium and light day. And it's based around the concept of daily undulating periodization, where no three days are the same with regards to intensity. There's waves. And it's been an awesome program. I've absolutely enjoyed it because it has taken me back to basics with training. To give you some context, when I started getting into the whole noble natty scene, I found myself becoming distracted by the amount of options that were becoming available. This guy had a program, that had that guy had a program, which split was good for me, it was an upper lower better than a full body split. And what happened was I was getting into that frame of mind where I was program hopping with the weights. When it comes to conditioning, I'm pretty rigid, but with weights, I was kind of getting sucked into the amount of information that was available and it was blurring the lines. And that's where Faz stepped in. So Faz allowed me to become a bit more focused with my iron training and just getting my head down and trusting the process. And it's been a revelation in that respect because it's the first program that I've stuck to for more than five or six weeks. So hats off to Faz for that one. As for the conditioning side of things, they take place on the days when I'm not in the gym. So for example, to give you some structure, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday gym, Tuesday conditioning, Wednesday gym, Thursday conditioning, you kind of get the picture. One day of rest. And for the conditioning, I've also tried to introduce the concept of doing it under load. Now, I'm a burpee guy, burpees will always form the foundation for my conditioning work because I know how effective they are. However, 
I have became more of the thinking that burpees only get you so far. If you want to know more on that, watch my last video. It was quite controversial. However, I look now to perform my conditioning under a degree of load, which means I'm starting to bring more kettlebells into play. I'm starting to do it in the gym as well, where I'm adding deadlifts and kettlebell thrusters, dumbbell thrusters, weighted chin-ups into the mix, but using the concept of building them around burpees. The bare minimum amount of burpees that I look to perform on any given day is 100 burpees minimum and I will factor that into a conditioning workout. So for example, I will do 10 deadlifts, then I will perform 10 burpees and it will just be 10 rounds or it might be 10 squats, 10 burpees, 10 rounds or it might be a 50 rep buy-in of burpees, some thrusters, post kettlebell complexes, and then it'll be a 50 rep buy-out. So the, the, the basis of the workout will always be 100 burpees. However, I'm trying to bring load in because I think load, it puts the body under a little bit more pressure and it's a new stimulus. Everything works until it stops working. And that also includes burpees. Burpees will work, but the effects won't be as profound the longer you go down the road. So you need to start bringing other things into play because as Dan John said, everything works for six weeks. You get the point I'm trying to make. So the conditioning drills with load added in has been, it's been an eye opener in that respect because I have felt exposed when performing these conditioning drills whereas with the eye rep body weight you would have to really go hard for a long time before you could actually start to feel that fatigue set in whereas when you bring load into play you tend to find that fatigue sets in quite quickly however that's because it's something I'm just trying to get used to at this point so anyway moral of the story is that daily training is optimal Six days a week is probably the sweet spot because it allows you guys who need recovery to get that day in uh, try to get the balance right uh, if you're doing gym work three four times a week the extra day in the gym say you're doing three days in the gym and you are then able to do three conditioning drills four days in the gym two conditioning drills you need to kind of understand where your priorities lie at this point my priorities lie in getting balance getting the gym work in but keeping conditioning levels high Anyway guys, listen, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has given you guys some value and gives you guys some ideas as well with regards to where you want to take your training if you want to do new things. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, thanks for staying strong and thanks for staying conditioned.